All right, welcome to another review video. This one, I'm pretty, pretty excited to review. We've uh, reviewed a couple of uh, earphones throughout this uh, channel. Well, we've reviewed gaming pair of headphones, and the most recent one that I've reviewed is the ear pump. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out, of those two videos out, I'll leave it in the top corner. You can go click it and watch it first, and then come back to this one. Or you can wait till the end and then watch those videos, because I'm gonna put a playlist to all my reviews at the end so you can go check that out if you want anyway today we're going to check out something new by sonic gear so sonic gear has sent me the ear pump 12 active noise cancelling earbuds so do you want to find out if these are actually worth the money or are actually even better than the airpods pro well i guess you have to wait and find out Well, I guess the first thing uh, that's to mention is the fact that it's strikingly close to the uh, AirPods Pros, except the design is much more of a cheaper quality plastic. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good quality plastic. It's similar to the ear pump that I previously uh, reviewed. So these guys come at 129 ringgit. Very, very cheap considering that it has active noise cancelling. And as you can see, uh, these are the black versions that Sony Gear sent me. It also comes in white. It comes in like this uh, two-tone color. It's got a silver color over here and black over there. It's got a, a matte black finish. Love that. Wish AirPods had black, glossy or matte. I don't, I don't mind really. Uh, it's got the logo on the top, the air pump logo, TWS 12 active noise cancelling and the serial number at the back. Casual stuff. So yeah, when you open the earbuds, these are how the earbuds look like. I mean, they look strikingly similar. I'm not sure if you can see this. They look strikingly similar to the uh, AirPods. Let's bring this into comparison. So this one's got a matte finish and this one's got more glossy finish. The stems are shorter. Overall, the design is literally just this but longer this i mean like the stems are as you can see a little bit longer so yeah they they fit pretty well similarly to the uh, airpods pros and in the box it also comes with extra ear tips to fit different type of uh, sizes of ears so the surface on the back is touch capacitive so as you touch it it uh, has certain responses for example if you tap once to pause and play uh, and then you double tap on either one side to move forward or backwards on a particular track and if you tap it three times it activates voice assistant of your particular device that you're connected to so there's three different modes similar to the airpods pro you've got the normal mode the active noise cancelling mode and the transparency mode and how do you activate them well similarly to uh, your pause and play function button you just hold it for two seconds and switch between yeah, the various modes right now it's at normal mode so i can hold it for two seconds okay not gonna lie it's it's interesting so far for transparency mode uh i've tested it on the sony wh 1000 xm4s and uh, these guys obviously and the transparency mode on the airpod pros are just insane like it, it almost feels like you're not even wearing them that that's that's the cool part about this whereas for the xm4s they were much more artificial like they feel artificial you know like from a they like it's like the sounds from your surrounding sounds like it's from a cheap microphone if you get what i mean i mean it's 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 doable but still it's just not as good these guys on the other hand i mean sound quality wise like i can hear my surroundings pretty well 
Like it's it's very very close to the AirPods Pros, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me just compare this. Okay, I just turned on noise cancelling, and there is a significant difference in the quality. All right, okay, okay. All right, obviously there's gonna be a, a huge gap between the AirPods Pros and these guys, because I mean the price difference. What do you expect? So the device that I've, I've tried for transparency mode which is the uh, AirPods Pros, Sony's, and now this. If I'm gonna be honest, these are second place. These are better than uh, the Sony's, in my opinion. But just the transparency mode in the AirPods Pros is just, it's just unbeatable. Like it actually sounds like you're not, like you're not wearing anything. In fact, it kind of amplifies your voice because right really now I can hear my surroundings but my voice still feels muffled. So that's an interesting experience, not gonna lie. Transparency mode, pretty decent. Or active noise cancelling. So you hold it for two seconds again. And it turns on immediately and... Uh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Wow. I mean, for 129 ringgit, these are very, these are very decent. So that's interesting. Well, I have tried it out uh, in public and it does well. It just, it doesn't uh, cancel out uh, the noises as much, like more, it doesn't cancel out more frequencies compared to this guy right here. Still though, they're very decent. I mean, they're very usable. Considering that these are 129 ringgit, that's very decent. So, battery life, how are they? Well, according to these guys, they can last up to nine hours. And in Sony Gear's website, it states that it can total with minimum usage, best case scenario, you can use up to 32 hours, which is fairly decent. Obviously, these guys also have low, super low latency, decent because it comes with Bluetooth 5.0, can connect to multiple devices seamlessly, transfer within them, I mean, Standard. I mean, it's 2022. It's standard to have a Bluetooth 5.0 uh, earbuds. These things have is IPX5 water resistance. So, if you want to use this outdoors while you're jogging in the rain, or it it can last, which is very good considering that these are 125 ringgit. I really rate that. So these are like perfect earbuds to get, especially if you want to use it to the gym. You want to go out. Very good for productivity. So yeah, if you want to get one of these for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description because guess what? Black Friday is coming uh, soon. Where, where, where? Well, I'm not sure because I'm recording this video pretty late, early. I don't know when this video is going to come out. Black Friday is coming, which means there's going to be sales and all that. You, you can probably get these for even cheaper, but even at this current price, it's worth the money. It really is. I recommend you getting these most definitely if you have a tight budget and you really want to own solid pair of earbuds wireless earbuds with noise cancelling these are the ones for you just saying but that's all of my thoughts on the sony gear ear pump tws 12 active noise cancelling earbuds as i said before link to the device in the description also if you want to check out my other earbuds review i'll leave a link either at the top corner over here or description or at the end you can go check them out after you watch this video yeah. so yeah and also another thing that i like to say please do subscribe it really helps me out helps me grow the channel and it tells me that you enjoy the videos not now siri <laughs> so yeah a sub to the channel would be so helpful thank you very much for watching this video do leave a like and comment down below on what other active noise cancelling earbuds that are out there that are uh, similar to these ones that are very cheap and they have excellent active noise cancelling. If you know any other brands that does these kind of earbuds, do let me know so that I can check them out and maybe make a review for you. So yeah, so that's all I gotta say about these amazing earbuds. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.